Hi there, my name's Tom Pearson, I'm Crop Production Manager of the Rainham Estate in North Norfolk, just south of Fakenham. Traditional sort of Norfolk estate, cropping mainly cereals with sugar beet as well, as well as energy crops for our AD plants, so forage maize and forage rye. We moved when I started here in February, we sold the, the combine that was here then, which was a, um, a Case 9240 single rotor combine with a 45 foot belt header. That's been replaced this year with the pre-series production um, class selection 8700 um, with a 35 foot header. So obviously we've reduced header size by around 10 foot, but we've found that's made no, no effect on harvest at all. You know, harvest has probably been completed quicker than last year, and I'd say between 10 to 15 percent more efficiency. Cropping-wise, we're cutting here, we're farming sort of 1,400 hectares, combining in the region of sort of 800 hectares. So, you know, we are well over capacity for the machine. In a catch year like this year, that's had a, had a big impact. Um, the combine's bought on a five-year plan, so if more land came back in year four and five, I know we'd be, you know, we'd be comfortable. Crop flow with the new feed system, you know, more of a consistent feed, you know, the trajectory of the crop is far more consistent to before. You don't get the lumping, the banging. It allows you to cut later at night when the crop's getting damper. Crop flow stays very consistent and very good. Um, obviously, the increased drum and concave size has allowed sort of, you know, more crop to flow through the combine as well. Cleanliness of the sample, we've had some fantastically clean samples this year. Um, you know, I don't think that's probably down to the rotors as they've not changed overly much, but obviously the new sieve system, as well as the increased size in the, the drum and the concave, has had a big effect. And CMOS Automatic as well has been fantastic. I was very nervous to start with of relying on CMOS Automatic too much, but actually, you know, as the season's gone on, you know, the combine operator and I have realised that, you know, that, that, that CMOS Automatic, you just need to have faith and let it do what it can do, because it will do a fantastic job. Um, we've seen great results from CMOS Automatic this year. Output wise as well, obviously as I mentioned we are you know, a 10 foot smaller machine compared to last year but I'd like to think that our combining speed has probably increased by sort of 1 to 2k in most crops meaning we've covered the ground in probably you know, less time compared to you know, what we were running before. A 10 foot bigger machine, you know, harvest has been brought home earlier. The new tank system is fairly impressive, you know, 15,000 litres of grain is a lot of grain. Um, the unloading auger as well at 180 litres per second, I was slightly nervous to start with with the volume of speed that I was coming out of. But actually, you know, with, you know, with good trailer drivers, you know, you can have the tank unloaded in sort of half the distance compared to before, you know, sort of two or three hundred yards and you've, you've lost 15,000 litres in no time at all. With the option as well as uh, cutting, the, um, cutting the rate down to, to half, so, you know, down to 70 litres a second, or 75 litres a second, whatever it may be, you know, we can top trailers that come to without losing too much grain. Also, the feature of, you know, allowing the grain auger to, to empty before it's folded back in takes a lot of strain off the auger as well from, you know, turning on headlands if the auger's still out or whatever.